Good morning, everyone. Before I start my presentation, I would like to start off with a little story. Um, I would like you all to imagine coming home after a long day at school, work, extracurricular activities, whatever you guys do. Um, imagine coming home and having nothing to eat. No food anywhere. All you have is maybe a gallon of water in the refrigerator. But you're really hungry. Your parents can't do anything about it. What do you do? Um, according to AustinFoodBank.org, in 2011, Capital Area Food Bank provided more than 24 million pounds of food and nourished more than 300,000 hungry Central Texans. Um, there's also another little story from a little girl named Kaylee. She's nine years old, and she states, when I go home, we don't have that much food. Um, I've been coming here for four years. It's good. When I come here, I can eat. At home, there's not much food. None. So, um, good morning, everyone. My name is Brenda Maynard. I am a sustained Edwards student here, just like you all. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about volunteering at the Capital Area Food Bank. I volunteered there for numerous hours uh, about a month ago, and I am going to talk to you about pretty much the importance of why volunteering there is such a need and why Austin just kind of needs this kind of community service put into it. We will discuss the food bank and what it does. Uh, we'll move on to my experience working there and the opportunities available and then we'll move into the benefits. Um, before I do start, I'm gonna request that you all hold your questions until the end of the presentation. Um, so first, um, the food bank and what it does. So it was established in 1982, but the food bank is more than actually just a food bank. It does more than just give out food to homeless and hungry people. Um, they do a lot of helping people with setting up food stamps, uh, SNAP, which is Texas Food Stamps, they do um, help people with applications for children's Medicaid and Medicare. Also CHIP, which is Children's Health Insurance Programs. Um, TANF, which is also the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. Um, they also do have a lot of women's health programs and mobile feeding services, and they also do donations, sort of like a Salvation Army or a Goodwill. They take donations and they kind of distribute them out to people that need them. Um, so now I'm going to talk to you about my experience working at the Capital Area Food Bank. I got there right after school. It wasn't, it didn't take too long. It's right down the street on South Congress. I think we're all pretty familiar with South Congress. Um, so I got there a little late by accident, but it started out with sorting goods. Uh, There's a lot of electronics like blenders, coffee machines. You'd be surprised at the things that people actually give away to people that are in need. Um, I also did a lot of sorting through women's health products such as tampons, pads, um, they even had like beauty makeup and um, eyeliner of course, a lot of women products. There are toys for kids, um, also school supplies for students. Uh, there's also like health products like soap, shampoo, conditioner. There's pretty much just like an all around um, products for people that need it like daily in their lives. Um, so after I after we did sorting for about an hour and a half, it took about a 15 minute break, and then we moved on to boxing all of these products. We did over, I believe it was a thousand pounds in just that short time period that we were there. Um, but overall, it was just a really good experience and I met a lot of people. I mean, there wasn't a lot of people there, but I did meet, um, I did have the opportunity to meet everyone. The supervisor was really friendly and she was always around to answer my questions. I was definitely new and everybody else was kind of like regulars. Um, so this is definitely something that people do pretty often and work into their busy lives as well. Um, now moving on to ways that you can help, or anybody can help. There's volunteering. Um, of course, you can donate. There's uh, volunteering, like doing what I did, which is like sorting the goods and boxing items. There's also like actually giving the food away to the needy, working in the food trucks, going out, and feeding people. They do that around the holidays, especially Thanksgiving and Christmas, because a lot of people don't have food these days, and it's one of the most important times of the year to be fed, I guess. Um, you could donate food, money, or other goods. You can work as product recovery, which is going out and getting the products. Um, also, if none of this is kind of your thing, you can do things such as working in an office. Uh, one of their administrative offices, you can work in there. And so, Moving on to the benefits of this of Capital Area Food Bank, why it's just really important. Um, one, you're just helping the community. I don't know, I can't stress enough how much it, how important it is to give back to Austin because Austin is a great city. Um, we 
go to an amazing school, and it's just really nice to give back to those who aren't as fortunate as us to have the things that we have. Um, so I know that we do get busy, we play video games, we do a lot of homework, I sleep a lot, um, I love to eat, I love to go out, 6th Street every night, maybe not every night, but it's still <laughs> really important to put some time aside and actually contribute to the society that we get to live in. So to conclude everything that kind of went over today, I talked about the, sorry, just kidding, let me give this out first. I'm going to give you a handout. This talks about it's pretty much a synopsis of the company, what we do. So I would like to highlight a couple of things. First being the number of years uh, Cavalier Food Bank has been in operation, 31 years. So it's been around for quite some time. Um, they have provided over 24 million pounds of food and grocery products, um, 18.5 million meals. And another thing that I think is pretty cool, they only have 75 paid staff people, um, but over 14,000 volunteers every single year. So it's definitely um, a place that people need to volunteer at. So getting back to the conclusion, I talked about the food bank and its responsibilities. I talked about the different services offered. Um, I talked about my experience there and what I did, such as sorting goods and boxing items. I talked about the opportunities to help, like volunteering, um, going out, product recovery, things like that. And then I also talked about how volunteering can fit into your schedule because it's definitely not too hard to put aside a couple of hours, maybe a semester or monthly, just to, just to volunteer. It's, it's not that big of an issue. So now I'm going to go ahead and conclude my presentation and take any questions that you might have.